Hey, this is Nia from Lifestyle of the Geeks and Gamers, continuing my uh, Siri apps for Android. Uh, and today we will be talking to you about the Speak to It Assistant that is available in the Android Marketplace. Uh, the Speak to It Assistant is pretty cool. It's a conversational style um, Android app that lets you plan your calendar, find the weather, find nearby sources. Really does a lot of the things that Siri does as well. And it is run through partly through Google Voice Actions and partly through the Speak to It doves and what they choose to do. So she can do conversation styles, you can also make her look like mail if you wanted, see the customization screen, she keeps a backlog of all of the conversations that you've ever had just through scrolling, which is kind of nice, so if you ever forget. She can navigate things for you, she can post things to Facebook, um, she can post things to Twitter, do a variety of things, which is kind of nice, and I just wanted to show you some of the functionality today and let you know and let you see. Okay, I'm running a Samsung Nexus S today, uh, and that has like a 1.0 gigahertz processor, I believe. So this one's kind of intensive, um, merely because she has the customization for the person. So if you try to change what she looks like, then you might undergo some difficulties with your phone lagging. So I'm just going to throw that out there. But let's just show you um, some of the things that she does and some of the things that you can do with her. What's the weather? I'm searching for your location right now. Now in Colorado Springs it is currently clear. 51 degrees F, 11 degrees C. So, obviously found my weather really easy. Use my location to tell me what was going on. Um, where is there pizza nearby? I'm searching for your location right now. This should only take a moment. This map will show you the closest, there pizza, to where you are now. And then I can also do... Tell my friends that I am playing with Speak To It. A good friend is always there when you need them. Uh, so she had some issues with that. Might have just been the way I said it. Tell my friends I am having fun. I'm trying to access your Facebook account. This may take a moment. So, because I'm not logged into Facebook, obviously, she can't do it. And that's just my personal preference. She can also open applications for you, which is kind of nice. Open Pandora. There you go. Pandora is now open. And then she'll open Pandora application for you, which is kind of nice. So then I can also tell her simple things like, I'm bored. If you have a garden, plant a shoe. Knock, knock. By the way, I can send tweets to your Twitter account. All you have to do is ask. Do you know any jokes? Ah, she, she opened my Pandora and I forgot to close it. My fault there. Whoops. My bad. Do you know any jokes? Sorry, Naya. I don't have any jokes in my repertoire just yet. You can also tell her something like, I hate your name. You can always choose a new name for me. What would you rather call me? Sam. Sam. I think that suits me just fine. How are you today? Couldn't be better, Naya. Goodbye, Sam. Bye-bye. And she'll actually exit that application for you. So, overall, she's a pretty cool application. Sorry about my little uh, indiscretion in the middle of it where I wasn't able to 
close out of Pandora properly. However, if you are looking for an application that's very similar to the Siri application and you want something that's going to like answer you, talk to you, conversational style of tone, then definitely the Speak to It Assistant in the Android Marketplace would be what I would recommend. It's pretty easy to use. It does have some glitches. However, what's really nice is that the developers are completely open to uh, suggestions from their users, and they're consistently doing updates to Sam slash Speak to It Assistant, which is very nice. Recently, they just um, created better navigation tasks. Uh, they also created a better conversational style of tone, because um, sometimes you would ask her things and she wouldn't get what you're saying. And she still has her limitations, but I mean, for a free application offered through the Android Marketplace, this would definitely be a top contender with Siri, I would say. And what's really nice is they're continuously updating her and offering her new things that she can do for you. And the fact that you can actually have her close herself out in comparison to Siri, who I have not seen been, who I have not seen do so just yet via other YouTube videos is really nice. Um, if I had an Apple iPhone 4S, I would probably do a like battle of the wills for you guys. However, I don't. So. Yeah, that's the Speak to It Assistant offered through the Android Marketplace. Just to show you one more thing, you can also see everything that she does if you just hit the menu button, and then you can see skills. And if I push this closer, you can see that she does talk, she can find, she can navigate, she can call, she can send text messages, she can update, she can play your playlist, she can tell you about herself and yourself, she can organize your calendar for you through Google Calendar. Um, she can calculate values, which I didn't have her do. I should probably have her do that. But she can also check in via Google Places, which is really cool. So, yeah, so she does a variety of things, which is really nice. So, yep, that is the Speak to It Assistant offered through the Android Marketplace for free. Uh, go check it out. That is all for right now. This is Mia, and I'm out. Thanks for tuning in.